In this video we will learn how to reduce a mesh model from a high polygon model to a low polygon model with planar surfaces. Our starting point should be a complex model uh, which is not done by me. I just go to 3D warehouse and I just enter uh, elephant uh, and I just have a look at an elephant. I download any elephant, for example this one, and when I download the elephant uh, as a SketchUp file, I don't use the newest version because I want to be able to import this into uh, Rhino. Okay, after I downloaded the elephant, I just go in Rhino into File uh, Import and I just go to my uh, download and uh, import the elephant. The settings uh, I leave like this. Uh, world is really important. And um, I just wait uh, for the import. Here we go. And uh, this is my elephant. I want to reduce the amount of polygons with one um, command. It's called uh, reduce mesh. But uh, you have to be aware of one thing. Uh, it will not work properly. I'll just click on preview and after some, some seconds uh, here we go this looks pretty bad and the reason uh, why it's like this is not only uh, the percentage if I go to 30% uh, I just waited some seconds and uh, here we go this uh, still looks pretty bad uh, the reason why it's like this uh, is the following you really have to keep an eye on these objects and for example this object um, is uh, consists of blocks. You can explode the blocks somewhere like this and you can just see uh, there are the teeth, there are by the way also some uh, some eyes and the eyes I want to delete. Uh, these two eyes and the teeth I just uh, keep and if I now go again into uh, reduce uh, mesh and uh, for example say uh, 99% I'm just waiting. You can just see uh, that uh, it's calculating the uh, percentage of my reduction. Then it already looks uh, much better and I just click OK. Again you can just see that it counts through the percentage until it's at 99% and then we finish it. Okay, here we go. Um, it's not so good to look at this in wireframe mode. I just go into shaded and there's another thing which is good. If you go in shaded you just should uh, choose flat shade because if you use flat shade then you can really see this planar surfaces. Okay, uh, we want to look at some uh, features in this uh, function reduce to mesh. So I just say string z and uh, I just copy this to the side. So I hold my Alt key and just make a copy. Uh, here we go. Uh, second elephant. I just go into reduce uh, mesh and we look at the functions. First of all, you can um, define a polygon, just a polygon count, for example, like uh, 90. I want to have 90 polygons. I just go into free, uh, preview and you can just probably say this is important for my digital production. And um, let's see, here we go. And this just does not look well because um, the legs are gone, so uh, 90 polygons is probably not uh, good. Uh, but uh, you can uh, define certain things. Um, first of all, I just go to uh, 140 polygons. Um, and um, no, I do it differently. I go again into uh, just leave the function and I just say again reduce uh, mesh and uh, now I want to show you uh, some things which uh, could be interested, uh, interesting. Uh, for example what is really interesting is at all uh, naked. This just means there are certain things for example uh, um, all open borders or uh, the part where my teeth were selected, uh, were disconnected, uh, you can choose and however you reduce your model this will stay. Okay, I just go into preview and I just say uh, I reduce it to uh, yeah, 99% is good. Just go into my preview. It takes a second, you can just see uh, 
wollte das abwärmen. Okay, here we go. And uh, what you can see is that it just keeps uh, the vertices uh, at this point and everything else is uh, low polygon and this is really good. I just cancel again and we look at uh, one, one other thing. Okay, I just enter again, reduce uh, mesh. I don't have to enter it, I can just say right mouse click. Um, and just select my elephant. I go again into add naked and there's a, another really interesting thing. I would like to keep um, my feet and I can just say um, I can add points. Uh, just add this point, this point um, and uh, these two points, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. Here I only add one to see the difference, and then I want to add, for example, this point and uh, this point. Okay. I just press uh, enter when done. Okay, uh, now these points are connected and uh, if I go again into my uh, preview, it's calculating, here we go, then you can see that it just keeps these points which is really interesting because uh, you can define objects, you can probably define uh, position in space uh, with this function. I think both functions are really uh, uh, really interesting and we just click on OK. Here we go. And uh, this is my elephant with uh, predefined uh, uh, points in my feet and uh, also with my tooth and you can still see that uh, the area where uh, the tooth is connected uh, is still really nicely defined so I can just have nice connections to my former uh, teeth of the elephant. I take the elephant and I just uh, copy the elephant again to, um, to the left side and um, I just have a look again at, at reduce uh, mesh. There's one thing which still could be interesting, it's called uh, planar only and what it does is just checks all the um, all the polygons and it just uh, controls that all the polygons are planar as a basic check which is interesting so uh, let's um, recalculate it. So it not necessarily reduces the amount of meshes which it does but all the polygons you see are uh, planar surfaces. If you're happy with your mesh result and for whatever kind of reason uh, you want um, to convert your mesh to a poly surface or to a knobs model again, uh, then you just select it and you just say uh, to knobs, mesh to knobs by the way, you just select it and uh, now uh, you can see you have uh, two objects, one is uh, um, an open poly surface and the other one is your mesh model. So uh, once you work with a mesh model you can also make a Polysurface uh, out of your uh, model again and thanks for watching.